should be back. All right. Can you see this? Can you hear this? Yeah, you probably can. Oh, there's a queue to get in. Wow. So, for those who don't know, I have been uh, playing some Elder Scrolls Online, and I know what you're gonna say. Kire, another MMO. You have a problem. You should stop playing random MMOs. And on some level, you're right. I do have a problem. I do play too many MMOs. But hear me out for a moment. Um, Elder Scroll Online, as I said many times during my afternoon streams, it's the least MMO MMO that I ever played. Bob Dad, hell yes, sexy. Is it as bad as any other MMO from the grinding perspective? See, here's the point. Uh, usually, we have these MMOs where, mm, where you have a lot of filler quests, right? Your leveling experience is riddled with quests that you just can automatically complete and you shouldn't even read because they are the classic boring help a farmer, help the mayor, help this guy, help that guy by killing X things, collecting X plants and stuff like that. This one for the quest you're experiencing with Witcher 3 <laughs> this one has quests that are more in line with a classic Elder Scroll game. So when you're running around and you find an NPC, it's it feels less like an MMO quest and more like a proper RPG side quest. Like in Skyrim, imagine you're running around in Skyrim and you find a guy outside a cave and he's gonna tell you about how he was going there with his buddies and they were digging for treasures and then something happened and they send you inside to check it out and see what happens. It's like that. I mean, uh, there is a main quest, I don't know what it is because I didn't even touch it. But last time I played, which was uh, yesterday afternoon, I had to do this quest where I found this guy called the Scarlet Judge, which is pretty much the superhero of Morrowind. It's like a guy wearing the suit I'm wearing right now, this weird looking armor, well. with a mask. Going around uh, saving people in the name of justice completely off the book. Right? And I was pulled into this amazing quest where I had to uncover a plot from the local marshal to arrest random people to send them as slave laborers to another guy. Since Slavery has been abolished in Morrowind. That was the legal way to get slaves. And so I went and collected clues and... Um, stuff like that to uncover this plot by working with the Scarlet Judge until I turned into the Scarlet Judge because they kind of captured him and broke his knees. So there you go. That was, a, that was an example of a side quest. Which was really, really cool. For an MMO, that is not a classical quest. I assume this kind of can be considered classic ES games. Are there any quests where you need to fetch a ring from a dungeon crawling with a living dead for an old lady that she left off her picnic? <sighs> I don't know. There could be. There could be. I had to go inside a mini dungeon for a guy that was claiming some sort of ancestral rights to a place that was now occupied by the nomadic tribes. Of Morrowind. 
And so I went inside this tomb, I talked with the ghost of his ancestor, and he said that he was the one that killed a giant crab beast that you can see on the map. Uh, where was it? Right here. It's a giant skeleton of a crab beast. And so even if the Ashlanders, the Nomad tribes, now occupy the territory, he has um, a claim to that. And so we helped him uh, open a discussion with the Nomads, which was very good. I don't know, I feel like the stories are way more interesting than your usual MMO area side quests. That's all. Also, it looks really pretty. Like, have you ever seen Morrowind looking this good? Come on. I may be a little bit of a sucker for that, but... Also, I'm a vampire. In case you didn't notice by my glowing red eyes. I try to defend World of Warcraft as much as possible, but at this point, uh, even I... Big fan, long time fan of Blizzard. I just can't defend it anymore. <laughs> Modern we look great in the old game. It did, but by now, by nowadays standard, the graphics are very, very dated. Unless you're trying to play that uh, Skywind revival project. You hope the Elder Scrolls won't become the same thing? I don't think they are in the same time period. I think it's more like... Um, the Old Republic to the Star Wars movies. Like, yes, there, there is a Star Wars movie. But the Old Republic is like 500 years in the past and nothing is the same, really. So they have a lot more creative liberties. Killing the old franchise. <laughs> well, that's a new movie. That's another matter entirely. I would just sit here and listen to this. Was the Argonian made book? I don't know, Ozva, but I did find a very saucy book about an Argonian bard. Let's see, is anybody looking at me? I'm gonna steal this ring. Okay. Saw me. So we can sit here drinking some morning revel tea out of a mug. Oh shit, it's stolen. I can't drink it. Oh, that's weird. Whoops, awkward. Can I really not drink it? Oh, maybe is it because I'm sitting? Ah, there you go. Ah, yes, here we go. I got the name of the mod, you hate how I finished Skyrim without the mods and just couldn't get back into the game afterward. Beer's so good you have to stand up to drink it. <laughs> I know, right? No, I mean, they stole it now. Nope. Not at all. Ooh, what the hell? Skyrim will finish you before you finish it. I mean, it did finish me before I finished it, that's for sure. I definitely never played the entire main story of Skyrim.
Captain Naros, hello. If you're passing through, pay attention. I'll say this once. <clears throat> Pilgrims who ignore my warning vanish from the roads by morning. Whether you're from near or far, best keep your arse at Molag Mar. That's an unusual way to issue a warning. <laughs> I find it best to put official notice in verse. Helps people remember and reminds them buoyant arbiters aren't ordinators. Nobody wants to talk to them, even other ordinators. Oh, damn. Now, if I could get someone to tell me who's attacking these pilgrims. You need someone to look into that? I mean, Vampire Dad is ready for action. If you're offering. I suspect Ashlanders are behind the disappearances, but I don't have the numbers to chase them off. If you can sneak into their camp near Molag Maw and find me proof of their involvement, I could finally get some reinforcements. I can see what I find. Avoid killing the Ashlanders oh, okay. unless they give you no choice. I don't need you starting a blood feud with my forces split. Now, I must be off to hold <laughs> the inspiring poet at a deeply fishy mine. <laughs> Such is the life of a buoyant armager. Skyrim was your home for more than a one year? First playthrough. Damn, that's a long time for one playthrough. But yeah, I think I sanked. Sanked? Sinked? S sank? I don't know. A few hundreds hour into Skyrim. You don't even have to fight Alduin. The NPCs do it for you. Sunk, yeah, that was the one. Do you was wish three but no home in only six months? We did enjoy our time in Witcher 3, didn't we? <laughs> so why do you suspect Ashlanders as responsibles? Responsibles? Responsible. So when our people late, guys. start disappearing, not long after an Ashlander tribe set up camp near Molag Mar, I wager it's more than a coincidence. Right, what's the tribe at the mine? Just a drag infestation. Uh -huh. We have them contained. Sure. They're an untimely distraction, but nothing we can't handle. All right. Once the drag finish mating, we'll clear them out while they're still sluggish. Oh god. Shouldn't be more than a week. That is really awful. <laughs> okay then, let's move towards uh oh boy. That's not the quest I'm doing. Over there, right. And there's two lore books down there. The Art of Kwama Egg Cooking. I want to read that. And On Stepping Lightly. Well, there's also some video on YouTube about the pacifist run on Skyrim. Finish your gold DLC and main quest without getting a single kill. Holy crap. That's an... That's... Wow. <laughs> How did he do it? Did he like use NPCs and companions? NPC kills count as your kills. Bugs. Lots of bugs. Ah well, that's in true Bethesda spirit. Bugs. <laughs> Whacking your companion with paralysis for 25 minutes? Holy crap. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... It's great that there's some people that can do that, but it's the, it's not my definition of fun. I enjoy watching it as long as is someone else doing it. It's like with the glitchy speedruns. They are fascinating, but I hate them with my guts.
Hit the paralyzed arena and should we kill everything? Oh damn. All the crazy shit they find. Yeah! That's why they're fascinating to me. It's crazy the things they can find out. I mean, how do they even know? Is that a lot? Like 40 minute video? Lots of jokes and so on to keep you entertained? Right. If you guys have the link, you should post it in the uh, in the Discord. I'd watch that. Okay, guys. Okay. We are in the Ashlander camp. Okay, so we are trespassing. If we go in there. See, this is another thing that rarely you see in an MMO. The mission is just to get evidence, right? But the additional bonus objective is to avoid killing people. So it actually rewards sneaking rather than just mindlessly killing like in any other MMO. If I were dedicated for like 30 years on a video game for Stone Age, you're bound to find every way to explore the bug. I guess so, but people do it with like new games as well. I swear to God, after like a, less than a month of Dark Souls 3, there were already so many speedruns with super glitchy shit in them, like skipping entire zones by clipping through a freaking gate and then using a specific weapon or something. I don't know. It's madness what people can do. The wise woman journal page. Another has disappeared on their hunt for the offerings. Four have gone and not returned now. Our offerings are meager and I fear the Daedra Lords show us their displeasure. Why should they show us favor while the slaves of the false gods trample these holy grounds and erect their blasphemous temples? They are intent to drive us from this place and sunder our ancient pact. Dishonored or dead, our warriors cry out to be avenged. We cannot allow this continue. What path is before us? What will the bones tell? The games are made in similar fashion, we use similar coding techniques. Because the bags are often the same. Yeah, I guess it's just like experimentation. If you know there's something there, you can use like your previous experience, but still. You can use the bowl bug in Skyrim and Fallout 4? I don't know. Probably though. But at the same time, though, well, yeah, I guess you. I see your point. Like Bethesda hasn't updated the game engine in <gasps> shit, <sighs> almost. Bethesda hasn't updated the game engine in I don't know how many years, but many, many years. Shoot, that's that guy right there. Alright, can you move? I just really hope they update their engine for the next time. Yeah, me too. Me too. Especially for that um, space game. Otherwise it's just another DLC for the same game. As it has been since, what, Oblivion? Like, literally Fallout 76, it's using... Pretty much a modded version of the Oblivion engine. Which I am fairly sure at the time is it was like... A bit better, just a slightly better version of the Morrowind one. So... It's a fairly ancient... No wonder the game sucks. <laughs> It's dated. At this point, you need new stuff. You need new physics. You need new everything. Interaction with the world and whatnot. The ritual of appeasement. Do not tempt the Daedra Lords with red restlessness. 
Give to them freely as our ancestors did, so that their dire gaze do not fall upon our tribe. It is best to of offer the princes the rightful due when the seasons show us their brief favour, lest they call upon us in the lean times. You will know the portents by the fatness of the gar. You will know it by the stench of the sea on the inland, and you will know it by the wanderings of the lost people along their false god paths. Lead the tribe to great Almur Balarami. Of course, why don't you do that every day? For that is where the ancestors made a pact, and so it will be there that the pact is renewed. Upon arrival, a light a pyre of grain. It must be fed until the ritual is concluded. There will be no full bellies until the prince have had their fill. Each day as the sun crests the distant waves, gather the living sacrifice at our ancient altar in Almurabalarami. Split their throats over the stone with a black glass blade, and invoke the Daedra lords while the blood is still fresh. Spare no one, or our suffering will be assured and terrible. How the game is made. Do you pause when you read papers and books? No. That's the problem. No, no, no. This is a, this is a live MMO, so when you're reading, you're actually right there. They can attack you. <laughs> Spread the sacrificial entrails to the far corners of the altar before the sun reaches its true height, and leave the offering to the prince's mercy. When the host of Namira and Touch of Perite have befouled the corpse, you will know the day feast is concluded. Attendants may remove the offering and wash the altar with the oils of anointment. On the day of longest dusk, Azura signal that our offerings are satisfactory to the Daedra lords. Only then may we break our fast and cease our supplication. Do not tarry in Alamura, blah, 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 for it is the place. Can you spot me even though you were hidden before opening? Or do you become invisible? Can they spot you even though you were hidden before opening? Oh, well, I mean... They can spot me. I don't become completely invisible. Like... For the most part, I think... Um, lore books especially are placed in a way where you can safely read the lore most times without being attacked but you you also have to be careful like if i would place myself here and read the book there maybe that guy would see me so yeah always careful i have been Interrupted before. Search the ritual site, which is up there. Okay. There's no one here. Oh, there's a sack. I can steal from the sack. I love the kept the stealth mechanic in game. It's it's actually surprisingly well done for an MMO. You can even pickpocket NPCs. Like random NPCs. Blood and entrance are strewn. Strewn? 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 Strewn. Over the stone altar. It is unclear what they belong to, but they are flesh. Fresh? Flesh. Fresh. Something died here very recently. Okay, talk to Caught in the act. You have much to answer for. Oh, whoops. It's broken, but I'm always worried to your knowledge. Prospect uh nope. <laughs> what was the only one that comes to mind? Typical gun blazing game. I mean Most MMOs are just go and kill everything in your path, right? Sometimes you may find a scripted quest that allows you to sneak around, but it's it's just like a rare thing. But not in this one. This one it's fully integrated. In fact, 
uh, I got caught by the guards in the previous mission, and I had to find a different way into the town because the town guards would just try to arrest me. Oh dear, I think I glitched that guy. Oh boy, whoops. Where is he? Down there. Um. Oh, it's not. He's not here anymore. Oh boy, can I go back up there? Yeah, of course you can. Just Skyrim your way up. Caught in the act. You have much to answer for. Caught in the act. You have much to answer for. Okay, this quest is a bit glitchy. It glitched again down there, and then I'm gonna glitch him again if I go. There he is. Caught in the act. You have much to answer for. <laughs> Alrighty, ball. Is this why you sneak through our camp to desecrate our sacred rites? Do the slaves of the false gods fear us so much they won't even face us themselves? Why are you here, Outlander? Answer truthfully, and I may only hobble you. Should MMORPGs even have RPG out of them if the only roller is a class? I feel like depends on the definition of RPG. I think in modern days, the true definition of RPG is kind of lost. And you just have the RPG tag when you have RPG-like systems, like a progression system. That, nowadays, it's enough to classify a game as an RPG. While I feel like a proper RPG has, you know, proper role-playing, you have different choices to make. Linear quest is definitely a poor way to do an RPG. When I'm thinking of an RPG, I'm thinking something like old Bioware games, old Baldur's Gates, like Obsidian and Interplay. What was the name of that thing? The media no Black Isle, sorry, Black Isle. Those kind of games, right? Where you can clearly complete a mission in different ways. You have choices, like impactful choices. Is Fallout 4 even RPG? There's no roles to choose from. The only difference you can get is the ending, which faction wins the trifle of power. I think that's probably enough to classify it as an RPG. There's like a talent system, there's like ability points, which is... I mean, let's be honest, the classic strength, charisma, agility, stuff like that, it's taken directly from the old pen and paper RPGs. They were great, I know, right? Black Isle artists were stellar, indeed. Even Heroes of the Storm games and mobile RPG now. The talents. I will refuse to <laughs> to call Heroes of the Storm a mobile RPG. <laughs> On principle. There's not even a story, for fuck's sake. <laughs> but yeah, I think like the definition is very bastardized in this day and age. You can call anything an RPG. I mean, even the game we just played, uh, Project Warlock, technically it's a shooter with RPG elements, or so they say. Because, you know, there's a progression, there's a talent, there's an upgrade system for the weapons, there's levels. <laughs> Divinity brought the sense at least? Divinity is really good, yes. And um, also, I really, really liked... Pillars of Eternity. I don't know if you guys played it. I think I'm going to replay it on stream at some point. Because I want to play the second one. And I feel like we should play the first one too. You call a rocket propelled grenade an RPG too? That's very true, yeah. Does that mean that um, Call of Duty is an RPG? Hmm. Always they blame us for their ills. If they seek our deaths, they should just come for them. These ploys and ambushes are the acts of cowards. 
FPS RPGs are all news, old man. Look, FPS RPGs are among my favorite genre of games. I just wish there would be more. I don't care about the Fallout games being crappy as they are. Uh, there's something about that weird formula that I just am a sucker for. Obligatory Deus Ex Machine. Yes, exactly. Deus Ex is a great game. Um, I That's why I have high hopes for Cyberpunk 2077. Because it's the perfect mix between the FPS and the, the true meaning of RPG. Ambushes, members of your tribe have been attacked as well. Full have We've read about that. We, we know that. To find your armagers building their garish shrine over our ancestral lands. I suspect they were made prisoners of the false gods. You deny it? The armagers made it clear to me that they did not attack you. Only look around. They don't want a war. Those who worship the three are devious. But if it's true that they do not seek our destruction, I will not invite it. What will make them leave us be? You've been making blood sacrifices. I need to know the pilgrims weren't among them. Your pilgrims are not here. They litter the wild with their weakness. A beast's meal, nothing more. See for yourself. You will find what's left of their camps here, where I have marked your map. Mm -hmm. I'll investigate your claims. Thank you. I will seek my own answers. When you have seen what I have seen, <laughs> meet me at the Helan Ancestral Tomb. <laughs> we we're all waiting for Cyberpunk for the boobs in the video. Well, I mean, I didn't see the full video because I didn't want to spoil myself too much. But I did see some side boobs <laughs> and the sick car, indeed. Oh, I I've heard that you can um, ride bikes as well. Car women's adrenaline, all we need. <laughs> oh, that is sadly true. <laughs> well, Cigarettes, where well, you have seen what I've seen, meet me at the Helen Ancestral Tomb. Why at the Helen Tomb? The burial ground has been disturbed recently. Once you see that we are innocent, we will learn if the truth lies with the dead. I don't like real cars, I do like video game cars, especially sci fi video game cars. All right, so I am right here. That's the next quest. No, wait, that's a different quest. So I have to go up there. Also, there is a shard. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, guys, let's Skyrim our way out of here. Is that a bit of game? How'd you go from a monster assuming second ritual place to actually doing a favor call? This. Oh, we just talked about it. He said they didn't ritually sacrifice any humans. They said they actually are missing some persons as well. And I know it's right because it's true because I have read it in the notes. They left around. And so we decided to join forces and uh, figure out what's going on. They're not really happy. But still. Better than the alternative, which is a full out, full out, full out. It's just a war. Where did the anger go from? Like, since where people are so civilized. Oh, I, I feel like Ashlanders are generally more open to these kind of things than um, uh, than the great houses. Mutilated remains. Mm -hmm. A worried bones. Disfigured bones from the corpse of recently slain pilgrim. Little flesh still clings to them, and their surface bears countless gorges. Gouges? What? That's weird. Especially in the you should be hanged. 
We're both worrying about something. I know, they're so worried. Poor bones, indeed. Oh boy. Dead pilgrims, huh? The spirit was killed recently, but aside from the ragged tear across his abdomen and some bite marks, the body's mostly intact. Perhaps the deceased buoyant arminger drove the creature off before he could finish the meal. So wait, is this creature attacks? There's, there's no way. That's all it is. The arminger is dead too. The Sarmager appears to have died defending the pilgrim laying dead nearby. Her helmet is spattered in a viscous ichor that smells of month-old fish. Ew! Take the helmet as evidence. Nice. Okay, there's one more. Oh! I don't know how to get there, though. Uh, probably around the coast or something. The monster is 100k HP? Holy shit, it does. Ah, uh, well, it's not too bad. But it's definitely an elite. I do like, I don't know, 3k per hit. You hate inflated numbers? This game has definitely a lot of inflated numbers. Honestly, I just pretend they don't exist. And I attack until they're dead. You don't see floating numbers anyway, I think. Never paid too much attention. No, see? You don't see the floating numbers. Is this a level scaling? It does have level scaling, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't have like group monsters or elite monsters that are way, way stronger than usual. It does have a few of those. Ooh, oh, what's this? Oh, that looks nice. There definitely are easier way to balance it, but I feel like if you do it afterwards, it just feels bad. I hate it out. Every other expansion, World of Warcraft would just squeeze the numbers again and it would make you feel like shit. Because you, you go from like, oh, I was doing 20k damage, now I'm doing 500. What is that? It just feels bad. It's not, it's not right. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen an MMO that doesn't have inflated numbers. It's just that you can't really plan ahead for the amount of expansions, and you kind of have to have the power creep to create new challenges. So it's a bit, yeah. But again, I don't really like. I don't really look at the numbers, so it's all right. It could be a route where plus two level is tough, but possible. True. Yeah, you can. Although this game starts high, right? The basic amount of damage. It's this. 989. And now that I am level 10, I have a dagger that does 1000. I've seen endgame items, they do 2000, 3000. So even if the range seems high, it's actually fairly confi confined. Yeah. It's just that the numbers are high. You start like with 3 to 4k DPS and you reach a maximum of 40, 50k DPS. So it's like not hugely imbalanced. Is Reaper mechanic in the game as well? Yes, there is. 
in fact, some of my gears are probably a bit broken by now. And I would have to repair them. There's a stripped remain. It would be impossible to identify whoever this was if it wasn't for the personal effects nearby. The bones have been completely picked clean. And then we have a devotee journal. Today I begin my pilgrimage to Molag Marl. I'm eager to see this new temple for myself. I hear they built it on the water. Perhaps it floats. Once one has glimpsed Baru Dao. Bar, sorry, Bar Dao. The idea hardly seems far-fetched. The buoyant armagers are a sight to see. The number patrol many of the paths of pilgrimage. And they always seem to have something of a spring in the step. The songs and swords are a comfort for any otherwise inhospitable road. It doesn't float, but that doesn't make Molagmar any less marvelous. This will be a wonderful place to recuperate and prepare for the journey to Mount Khand. But first, I must offer my devotions to the three at the temple. I've seen fewer of the buoyant armagers around in the last day or so. Gone off to mine the roads, I suppose. When I asked the senior here when I might find an escort on my journey, she frowned. Some incident at the glass mine has them busy. She claims no one can be spared. I've waited long enough. The armagers may be busy, but I'm sure their presence here has made the wilderness a little tamer. Tomorrow morning, I'll continue my journey. Well, how did that hand for you, my friend? Not very good. Not good at all. Okay. Now, how do I get back there? I guess from the outside. Let's use the horse and see how it goes. Yeah, I know. Definitely has repairs. And they are also fairly expensive from what I saw. Also, there are many, many <coughs> uh, money sinks that are fairly necessary. In fact, I should go back to a town to spend some of my hard earned gold. I think so far stealing has been my um, number one source of income. <laughs> ah, so this is the temple, hey? Alright, I think it's fairly late, so I'm gonna have to go very, very soon. Before I do that, I just want to go to a town and um, grab my riding upgrade. Is there a... Oh, there is a... Oh, there is a way shrine. I guess. Oh, I have to go all the way back there? No, wait, I don't have to. I can just touch the way shrine. And then I can teleport for free. I didn't know that. It's really expensive teleporting around. But if you're actually touching the waystone, it's free. So I'm gonna do that, and we're gonna go to Vivek City. I'll show you what I mean by wasting a lot of gold. Alright, so if we touch this, we can teleport to here for free. Yes, perfect. Oh man, I didn't know this. I didn't know this was a thing. I just used my teleportation where, whenever I wanted. This saves me a lot of money. So... I think it's out here. My things are great. Do you know RuneScape? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school version. Put a fair bit of it and the inflation is horrible to the lack of money things. To the point of where people literally just take $10,000 worth of money in game just because there are many people that have that much and liquidizing it would be tough. And I guess I'm a service. Of course. <laughs> Weird. But no, look at this. You look like you know your way around a right... I mean, I played for a good week, okay? And I got... 3k gold, 3 gold, 3.3, but it's mostly 3k gold. 
so every day, every single day, you can purchase one point of a riding skill, which is either speed, stamina, or carrying capacity. And all these are very, very important, mostly because you then have a lot of carrying capacity. And this increases your speed and your stamina for your horse, which means you move around faster. But it only goes up like 1%. And you have like three of these, and they cost 250 each time, which is a lot. So I could do this for like a week, and then I would be out of money already. <laughs> I mean, at the end, it is still an MMO, and there are some MMO mechanics. It's not like it's completely devoid of any MMO mechanics. There are dailies, there are dungeons and raids and whatnot. But to me, the way I play it, so far, doesn't really feel like an MMO. It just... An Elder Scroll game with other people around, which I barely even see anyway. Alright guys, let's go to the refuge for the buy-ins to take 250 days straight. If you bought the second, you're good. Yeah, I guess. That's that's a long time. But it's also a bit like unnecessary. It's not like you need it. It's just convenient, I guess. At least a year of playing to max out a horse. I'm sure money problems just for you being low level. True, but still, it's another thing where you can sink your money into. I can buy your goods. Also, you pay for laundering items. If you steal an equipment, you have to launder it. Do the upgrades carry over to the other mounts at least? Yes, it's just a general riding skill. It's not for the specific mount. You also have a limited amount of stolen item you can sell, you know, to avoid flooding the black market with items. And also that limits the amount of money you can make by stealing. And if you steal too much, you get your bounty. And if you get the bounty, you have to pay to clear it. Or if a guard catches you, you pretty much have to um, pay them and they confiscate every stolen item. Which means goodbye, profit. The quests... They don't give money. Not too much money. I think they give you like a hundred. But they take a long time to complete, you know? These are not just quests that you get out of town, kill two enemies, and then you go back. Oh yeah, here's my gold, thank you. I am the thing of why right now that they speak up to me. <laughs> oh man. Speaking of Thanes, I think I ended up Skyrim. I was like the leader of the Guild Mage of the Thief Guild of the Black Brotherhood and the Fighters Guild. Like and still nobody would even know my name. And I was also probably the leader of various different villages around Skyrim. Yeah. Oh well. I don't have to go, you know. I can help clean things up. There is a part of Skyrim in this game. There's a southeastern this part of Skyrim. You're going. Um, this one. So there's um, there's Riften.
and all the places around it. Shorestone. I think this was the mountain where you find the the, the, the speakers, what were they called? The guys with the shouts? Yes, say the word from World Eating Dragon. Do we really need to pay for that cheese wheel? Yes, the grey beards. That's the, those are the ones. That I accidentally touched this and misclicked. Yeah, you have to. Apparently, you have to. I've been here, by the way, because I've been turned into a vampire somewhere around here. I don't know where exactly. Alright, anyway, guys. This is gonna be it for tonight. Um, you did the Fusro Da, the graveyard of the mountain. I I think I did the same, Hexer. It was just too inviting, they were all lined up. Had the fixed Skyrim space program in ESL? What's the Skyrim space program? <laughs> oh, giants? I don't know. I don't think they send you up to space when they kill you. I think you just die. Is he a warehouse? How are they aware of me? Is it because I am in... Oh. Hidden. Pickpocket. Fifty percent chance? Screw that. That's not enough. Not nearly enough. Oh, one day we'll go to the volcano. But yeah, as I was saying, that's it for tonight, guys. I'm gonna be back tomorrow. We're probably gonna play some um, some more divinity. I want to finish it. I really want to finish divinity. As soon as possible. I'm so curious. I think I can feel we're getting close to the end. I just want to get there. But yeah, no afternoon stream. I'm very likely going out. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm probably going out with friends. You're back on Monday. <laughs> All right, Elsa. So that's it for tonight, though. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys, you made my day a little better because today was just awful for me. And this was really, really fun tonight. So, cheers. Uh, have a good day, have a good night. I'll see you soon. Take care, goodbye guys.